Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will learn on how to use the Teams on the mobile. So let's start with the basic interface of Teams. So as you can see, I can see all my recent chats. I can go into my contacts, which are the same as my Outlook or my Teams contacts. I can go to the chat, calendar, calls, Teams, or the Teams help. So let's start with chat. So I want to start a new chat with somebody. I can click on the icon there and I can select, for example, Akshay. So notice that you will automatically see all of the chats that I've already done with him because chats are persistent in Teams. And now I will go ahead and create a group chat and I can start a test chat. Now notice that the chat is already created and I can use a group chat. I can go ahead and add mention somebody from this group chat. So I add mention Hitesh. I can also go ahead and send him a picture. So I can use my existing library or I can go ahead and click on take a photo. Now here in the camera, you have various modes where you can select a video or a document or a whiteboard or a business card. So in this case, I'm going to use a document. And notice that you'll see some blue edges here. So it, textually using AI, it fetches the borders of that particular document. Now you can click on the pencil icon on the top and ink this whole thing with an annotation. And you can say it done. You can also use this camera to capture a business card. So for example, I have a business card here. And notice that Teams will now contextually scan this business card for me. So it's much better than using something like a cam scanner, which we all use on a day-to-day -day basis to scan documents. So I can go ahead and share pictures like this. I can also go ahead and share my location by clicking on the three dots and sharing location. So notice it picks up my entire latitude and longitude and I click on share location. I can go back in there and I can share emojis. I can talk about any other forms or any other news that I want to all from the same screen. I can share files so I can see a list of all the files that I have here or I can click on more to see any other tabs that I have attached to this particular group chat. I can view a list of all my other group chats here on the top. So for instance, let's take this one. So here you can see that I have all the chat details. I can see people who are in this chat. I can mute my chat. I can add more people to this chat. And notice that the moment you add someone, you can also share the chat history by clicking on the share chat history icon and saying that I want to add all the chat history. So we can go and take a look at some of the other chats that I have. So here you can see I have files. So I can go ahead and open these files from here. That's about it with group chat. Thank you.